Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 08, the Chase Mode Owner Series for Part 47. We're going to be going to Chicagoland, and I don't know, I'm at a weird crossroads, because if Chicagoland, like, there's nothing eventful, like, what do I do? Like, I want to have Indy as a separate video because it's an important race, even though I think the racing there sucks for the most part, but still a prestigious race nonetheless. So that that was the plan. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll we'll figure it out together. So we're good in the standings. We're in we're well in the chase as far as like our point gap from everyone. So let's just see what we can do with Chicago Land and I guess just try to cruise and just kick the field's ass. I mean that's really all I would like to have happen. Off turn four. We already got the pull by about three tenths, so really nothing too much to worry about. It, it I don't know what to expect. It just don't. So another pull. So this could, this could very well mean we can get the lead, chill, and then win and have it be a very nice, calm, relaxing race. Here we go. The race is about to begin. And we did, obviously, before qualifying, I did change the assist so it's back to its normal sort of setting, which was just steering help and on high and traction on high as well. So there you go. So already right off the bat, we pull away from Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart. And this might be a race, possibly, if we can lap people so this can, so we can like actively like destroy the field order because whoever we just most recently pass will get second place. So now it's just going to be an interesting little scenario of who will be second place. Oh. Okay. Just, just have to trigger my OCD, huh? Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm, I like it. Thanks. Of course. It was, I'm mean, again, it was my, I shouldn't have went so dastardly aggressive, but, you know, that's what I get. Well, I was going to say something right around lap 13, so I guess it's perfect for him to do that, because now I get, I, I can do my bit before my regularly scheduled bit. <laughs> So yeah, nothing's really going on. It's we're just still leading. We're just still just so just disgustingly fast. Um, it, it, it's weird because again, this track, at least as far as the driving is concerned, I can manage it. It's I'm able to hold a straight line. It's not too bad. It's just weird how certain tracks are just so much worse than others. Because see, like, right there, like, making that little move, just going to the outside of Kurt, would have been such a big pain in the ass, or would have just overreacted. And here, it's just very subtle and just normal. It's just so weird how some tracks just are. I don't know. But, yeah, we're, we're cruising. There's really nothing much more to say. And, yeah, at this point, we'll throw in India as well for this video, because I am... I might as well. I don't... I, it's NASCAR rate. Right? I don't think anybody's gonna get really mad if I just if, if I did if I change my mind in the middle of the of the of the race or part or whatever. Thanks. White flags out. I mean, there's I got nothing to say. I think we're going so fast the engines actually. Oh, don't you fucking do a game. What the what the fuck was that? I was gonna say. We're going so fast, the engine's actually losing power because we're just going that quick. Well, it was going to be interesting to see who would uh, get second place or whatever, but now we're just going to just choke it on the last lap, and now I'm not going to lap any more people. So that's unfortunate. So off turn four, we'll win this. Maybe Harvick will get second again. Jeez. We almost lapped the whole field. Like, that is just... we. I don't know who was second, but we <laughs> just nearly lapped the whole field. And 27 laps, my god. So, Jimmy Johnson second, Harvick third. Is this, are the results semi-correct? I don't think so, but I, I don't know. I don't know, I, I have no clue. Let's check the point standings real quick. And we're only 41 back from Kenseth, so we did gain quite a bit. And that was our ninth win of the season. But very inconsistent, because <laughs> Nine wins, ten top tens, thirteen top five. Nine top fives and thirteen top tens, but ten top. T I can't talk. Ten top tens. Am I dyslexic? Ten top fives and thirteen top tens and twelve pulls. So I've been very up and down, but 
We'll see what we can do at Indy. I have no clue how we're going to do so. It might be a shit show. I don't know. We'll find out together. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I think this race is going to be a shit show, folks. Is just strap in, get ready, because I feel like some a lot of stupid's going to happen. We're, we're, we were, like, next to last, and that lap wasn't much better. This track, like many others, it seems like, I was you go through the corner, and then there's, like, that slight little elevation change, and the car just gets out of control. So 34th, that's not bad, but I'm sure we'll wreck and get right back to the back momentarily. So that's fun. I can't wait for... Oh, maybe there'll be a flip. Maybe there'll be a flip. So maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't be too mad. Here we go. At least we're on the outside line so I can get properly slammed into the wall. I'm looking forward. Okay, here we go. Green flag. 16 laps. Let's try to do the best we can. Jimmy Johnson's back here too. That's just strange. So, yeah, this track... Oh, I already hit Sorensen before we even get in turn one. So... Yeah, this track, again, just just like many others, the little slight, like, banking changes or elevate, like, little bumps, the car just reacts to it so just over-exaggerated, like, so it's, I'm assuming it's going to be like many other tracks where we'll have, like, a good straightaway speed, but our corners are just going to be shit, so I'm going to try to be on the outside so I don't have to worry about any of them and just try to go from there, so that's really the only strategy I can really do in this case and it seems to be working out we're gonna get by robbie gordon perfect oh my god mark martin gives me room too oh thank you oh my god they're gonna give me room okay the car is like slightly turning to left on the straightaway that's a little bit of a concern we hit joe neem check a little bit but it's okay we keep going folks this is going pretty pretty okay pretty okay so far I'm going to try to get by Kenseth on the outside. Is he going to put me in the wall? No, he doesn't. I just kind of gave myself... I gave myself so much room, I hit the walls. But he, he didn't pinch me in the wall. That was just me driving bad. Here we go. Turn three. Pass. Gilliland. Rudiman. Oh, God. It's getting tight. Do not hit the wall. Oh, my God. you see that? The car just reacts so... Just wildly. Okay. Please, just get by freaking Rudiman. And then we can... Oh, if we could just get by mirrors now, we we'll be... Oh, man, we're going to be in clean air. We can chill. It's going to be a good time. Get some get some chips and, and chill and chips and chill. Huh. Okay, there we go, P15. Look at this. We're going to gain another spot. We pass Harvick, and now we're just going to do what, what I've done, done before and just kind of pass all these cars up on the outside. The, there's none of that. Thanks, Remy. There's none of that, like, weird, like, baking dip transition thing that the track sort of kind of has so, on the outside. So, like, that's really the only lane I feel like is going to be where I'm going to go to make all these passes. And look at that. Tony Stewart just stops. We move up into the top 10. Kurt Busch now stops. So what, what is this, like, a traffic simulator? Okay. And we're going to try to get by Kurt, but the car's getting very tight. And we might lose some spots here and there. But this is... Oh, thanks, Remy. He, he's just trying to wreck me at this point. What? What? Black flag for what? 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 <laughs> Rough driving. I'm, I haven't done next to anything. Or nowhere nearly as bad as other racetracks. I don't know what they're what they're on. But Tony Storr I saw went down Piro. So more problems for our game cover athlete. So and we have... Who is that even leading now? Is that Denny Hamlin? It looks like it. I think so. So, yeah, that's not too bad. And we're in the top five. I mean, this is like, it's uh, it's gone kind of smoothly for the most part. It's it's. I'm shocked. Tony Stewart's leaving pit road. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. I don't know. If, okay, he's just down on the access road. So I guess there won't really be a problem. So maybe so. No. Okay, he's still go. He's still down there. Okay, that's good. So that's that's nice to see. Yeah, still in the top five. The Boyer's gonna get by me. Oh my god, we're gonna have like semi like normal racing in this part. It's it's shaping up to be like that. I think Stuart LePage the field back there possibly. So that's never a good thing. <laughs> and they, yeah, I called it. I get. I, I called it. I guarantee that's what 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 happened or that was what transpired. So. I I was reading the script, folks. I'm sorry. And frame rate drops. 
I don't really know what happened. <gasps> and we get a flip. Oh, two flips. Oh, John Wood, I love you. Oh. D thank you, thank you, thank you, game. I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, God, I got a drink for that. Let's go. And my car is more damaged than what it was before, so thanks, game. Thank you. So, there goes more laps in the thing, but we're going to get off to a really good start. Pass Boyer on the outside. It is legal to do that, so... Black flags do matter in this game. So, I'm going to try to get by Boyer. It's, it's weird. It almost seems like the outside line is the better lane to go. I, I don't know. But with all this damage now, like, I don't know how the car is going to be. See, that's the thing that sucks about caution signs, because when it transitions back into the race, it just it looks more damaged than what it was. So, I I don't know. I feel like this race might be... I don't know if we can win, but I just want to kind of finish and survive. That's really that's all I want, game. I mean, you gave me a flip. You gave me pretty much what I needed. So, just, just be nice to me for the rest of this race. Oh my god, you see that? Like, well, I mean, the damage kind of morphed itself in a better position, but... Yeah, the, like, the, the transition or whatever, like, the car just violently kind of snaps like that. And that's still crazy that it's acting like that, because I do have the traction on high, and it still kind of wants to do these random kicks out like that, so... I don't know, it's, it's, it's some of the most... It, it's so weird how different tracks race, because, like, some are fine... Sometimes when you get off the corner and you stop turning, it still kind of keeps turning. Or like, it's, I don't know, it's like, there's so much, like, bizarreness. Ooh! Oh, well, thanks, Vickers. He just gave me a shot, got by Kane, I think? Yeah, our car is not really up to par with the, the speed it had earlier, so... I don't know if we're going to do much in this race, other than kind of chill in the top five, maybe. But... I mean, it's a good race, all things considered. Jeff Byrne, thank you. Sure, bump and run in, at Indy, you know? It's, it's a short track, Jeff. It's, it's sure, why not? You know, who cares? Yeah, I can't do any. Thanks, Newman. <laughs> you fucking asshole. I was going to say, I mean, just can't really do too much, and I can't, I can't really do anything when the car is just... Newman, I swear to God, I will send you flipping. You, you're not quite... Well, no. Nah, kind of known for flipping at this point. You already flipped twice in your career prior to 2007. Well, 2003 Watkins Glen practice crash. That really wasn't a flip, but it was like half of one. And if you count 2003 Daytona event. Newman, stop. Just stop. I don't know. I, I can't really do anything, it seems like. I'm definitely losing speed. We're still kind of up here in this main pack, but I just can't really do too much. So I think... We might be able to hang on for a top 10 or maybe top 5 if we're lucky. It all depends on what the field wants to do or whatever Hamlin decides to do is it just stops or whatever the field wants to decide to, you know, just slow down. Can the field just stop hitting me from the back? Like, if this is not a short track, okay? I mean, if you want to think it's Talladega, be my guest. See? That's how you do it, Newman. You do it off the corner, not in the damn corner. Good God, that's like, it's like, oh my God, 213. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do too much now. The car's just... Eh. That sucks. I mean, pretty decent race, honestly. I mean, I've had much worse. Thanks, Junior, for trying to make it worse. I appreciate it. But this was not that bad. It just... Just... I don't know. That caution really screwed me with the damage because we were kind of keeping up. We're not really doing that now. I could stay at the bottom, but, like... No matter where I go, I'm going to lose time, it seems like, so... I don't know. So, and I guess maybe we can get a top 10. I mean, it just doesn't seem like we have speed anymore. I can't, I'm running out of things to say, because I just, I'm just it's saying the same thing. It just doesn't have speed. It's just, track doesn't like, doesn't like me, I guess, and if I race it normally, um, that happens. I just, just completely scrub speed off sometimes. So it's just a whole... Just ample of just bizarre things as we lose more speed. Thanks, game. White flag. Wasn't even paying attention. So, I'll try my best to gain a spot. 
I just can't do anything. Like, even in the draft, like, that was, like, my strong suit at some points was just being really good in the, the straights. Now, the car sucks so much, and I'm scrubbing off so much speed. I can't really do that anymore. So, it looks like Gordon might win this, I think. Kenseth is nowhere to be found, so I might get the points lead, I think. So, that's going to be interesting. So, we go through turn three for the last time. Not too bad of a corner. And we're just going to bump draft Junior for some reason as he slows up. And we're going to get a decent run off turn four. Hey, look at that. Oh my, it's Casey Kane going to win this race. <laughs> oh my god. Um, th it's 2007 in this game, and then he won it in 2017. Oh my god, what a conspiracy theory. Oh boy. <laughs> but hey, top ten. Good race. Thank you, game, for not having a shit show. I appreciate it. I'll take it. I will... I will take it. Okay, now the game's re the game's replay is always something fascinating because I was gonna do a thumbnail, but like, it only goes up to lap six. Wait, what? Why? In some races, it's like it shows the whole thing, or it starts from the from like the last lap. Here, it's starting laps at lap six. So, um, comment section help. <laughs> comment section help me because I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. Next race is Pocono, and that was another race where. I think we could have won, but I mean, magically blew a tire, so I think if, as long as nothing dumb happens, we should be able to win that. So, point standings, we're six points behind Matt Kenseth, Kurt Busch in third, Gorin in fourth, Kane with his second win of the season is now 11th in the standings. So, yeah, it's uh, it, it's been kind of an interesting points season, how it's been playing out. It's just It's so weird, because with all of the the, how the results work when you lap people and the results getting all messed up so everything's just all all over the place but that was a good part for we're having normal ish races and we got a flip in this part what a beautiful part thank you game for not being a complete shit show for a change big shout out to my tier 3 patreon supporters the down rails roland hoffer weather bros kamikaze games ryan lazard michael harrison dave five the champ 15 jeff gordon zach rogers racing news now alan gray matthew murray stephen willie and atf gaming for a donation again i can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel it does mean a lot to me and yeah just it's just awesome <laughs> thanks i'll see you all next part for maybe just pocono or maybe for pocono and Watkins Glen. i don't know I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.